the siege goes on, but this, is, this time it's a silent siege. It's silent. It's like, as many could up that one day, that just because they don't see us on the paper or on telly or being thrown into ditches with guards or whatever the story is, they think they're gone very quiet down there. It must be all over. If you take somebody's right to live in peace and quiet and safety away from them, how could it be over? It'll never be over till you're either don't live there anymore or till you're dead. You know, but I wrote to I, I wrote to Kenny as well, um he's a male man, he's from Kisabar. And I asked him like what was his view on my health and safety and my wife's health and safety and was he concerned that we had 30 seconds to leave our house? And um, it would be nice to hear your views on it and to hear what you think about me here and now and my wife and my kids and my safety. You came to Bell Boy and you viewed the plant and you looked around and you said it's lovely. Why don't you come up to my house and ask me what I think about it?